Hey everyone, this is Jesse with FarmingSeattle.com. I uh, wanted to do a uh, video showing my first propagated plant using the aquaponics system. Hopefully you can hear me, there's a weed whacker going in the back. Uh, but basically this is a thornless blackberry that I just took some cuttings from, stuck it in there. It's been in there since like February or so. Um, but it's obviously producing roots, which is a good sign. So now I'll basically pot this up in a plant, or in a, uh, in a pot, with just compost. I'll keep it in the shade for about a week or so, and hopefully this will make me a new plant. And I'm gonna try this elderberry, because it was giving me some resistance. Hopefully I can pull it out without busting anything. Oh yeah. So that is why elderberry is easy to propagate. Um, these are just hardwood cuttings, stuck in here for a week or so. I'll do the same thing, I'll put it in the shade and that'll be a brand new elderberry plant. No problem whatsoever. It's actually pretty good. I wanna kinda of keep these guys in the shade so they don't burn out their, um, their roots or dry up. So I'm gonna go do that really quick. Um, kinda of surprised that it was that easy to propagate new plants. Uh, that's kinda of one of the reasons that I wanted to do this. Instead of a misting bed, stick some cuttings in there and see what happens. So if I could do blackberry, mulberry, elderberry, um, goji berry, I'm going to check one of those. This is some elderberry, come on. Oh yeah, three for three. So this is a goji berry plant. Um, all right. Looks like I'll have a lot of stuff to do over the summer so just uh, propagating plants with the aquaponics bed so far so good thanks for watching